What is up guys? Welcome to another video and today we're gonna go ahead and talk a bit about The Crew 2. Now, I'm gonna have to be a bit quiet for this video because I'm recording this at 11 o'clock in Germany. I'm currently actually at Gamescom um, and I'm gonna actually go record some of The Crew 2 tomorrow. But a few um, pieces of pieces of information dropped regarding the pre-order bonuses and the release date which I actually wanted to cover in a separate video before I go on you know, to record gameplay for tomorrow. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and talk about today. So if you haven't already seen The Crew 2's Gamescom trailer, the link will be down in the description below. I'm probably not going to be able to show it just because the hotel internet is absolutely awful but it'll be down in the description below and I might get a few screenshots here and there but the most important thing that you probably need to take out of that video is that a release date was given for the crew too. So given, what was the date? It was March 16th 2018. Thank you very much for asking. So we kind of expected it to be kind of early 2018. I originally guessed February um, but March isn't too far off I guess um, and I think it's a good thing that they're actually releasing it at this time. It's a bit further away from the competition. You know Gran Turismo Sport the um, Need for Speed, Forza, etc., all come out around full time or like you know Christmas time, as where you know the Crew Two is going to have a bit of leeway. Obviously, they're not direct competition in terms of like Gran Turismo Sport, like the simulators aren't direct competition, but they're still racing games, and it's a good idea for them to kind of have a bit of space in between those, so they don't have as much competition when they you know eventually launch in March time. The trailer was really cool. It kind of showed off the main ways to play in the games. So obviously, we've got boats, we've got planes, we've got land vehicles, including bikes and cars it really does look pretty goddamn mad and I've got to say that's one of my most anticipated games for next year if I'm going to include in this year's kind of lineup of games you know Gran Turismo Sport Need for Speed I would say the crew is either on level with the Need for Speed or just a bit below like I'm really excited for that game and I cannot wait to get my hands on tomorrow now as well as this we also got some pre-order bonuses so what I'm going to go ahead and do is like link an article down below so if you, if you miss a few things which I say it will be down in the description as I usually do but essentially if you pre-order the crew you're going to get a legend Legendary Motors Pack. This comes with a C63S uh, touring car and it also comes with a Harley Davidson. The Deluxe Edition comes with the Legendary Motors Pack and a Motorsports Deluxe Pack. This comes with a F150 Raptor race truck, a Fiat Abarth 500 2008 monster truck and um, some planes which I'm not even gonna bother you know talking about and then the gold edition comes with everything that I just mentioned um, and then also the season pass so if you want to go ahead and buy the one with the season pass that's a hundred dollars hundred and ten dollars for a physical steelbook edition obviously this depends on where you are from place to place um, and then the actual deluxe edition is seventy dollars so um, they're kind of they're not badly priced I guess with the crew too you can almost guarantee with the deluxe edition you're gonna get a lot of content so that for me isn't too much of an issue I'm probably gonna pick up the main version uh, of the game like the gold version of the game when it eventually comes out just to save me the hassle of you know buying each expansion pass and that kind of stuff i've got to say overall i am looking really forward to the crew too i can't wait to play play it tomorrow if you want to see anything specific on the channel um if, if there's any like specific gameplay things you want to see now obviously car list stuff i'm not going to be able to get but if there's anything you want to see specifically in terms of how the physics work or if you want to see you know uh like how the it works if you want to switch in between cars and then plane mode again let me know i'll see if i can get footage of it and then we can get that sorted but I'm looking really excited to go ahead and play it I know this video was short but I wanted to keep it nice short and concise tomorrow there's gonna be a lot longer videos and I guarantee it's gonna be some juicy stuff so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure go ahead and hit the like subscribe I'll see you guys in the next one you guys have an awesome stay safe and peace